Hello all, welcome to a blustery morning in a tiny little Saskatchewan ghost town. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a, a little bit out of sorts, because I am feeling a little bit sick right now, so... It is what it is. This is a true ghost town, as in zero people live here. And I thought you might like to see what's here. As you can see, not a lot. And sorry about the wind, but apparently I decided to use Mosquito Central as my car camping site. And I spent two hours last night squashing every single one of the little pests. And yeah, no sleep because of that. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll just take a wander around the town site and see what's left. Other than that house we just saw. Now there used to be a united church here. It got moved into this town from a place called uh, Lakeview, which no longer exists. It was never even a ghost town. It was just a church right out in the middle of nowhere. And it got moved here. And you might be wondering what happened to it. Well, it got moved again. It's way down south of here in another town. So it's still around. Maybe I'll post a shot for you. Maybe I won't, we'll see. Anyhow, I'm using my much maligned DJI OM4. At least I think that's what it's called. I'm too tired to remember things. But yeah, I'm using it with my iPhone XS Max because the 13 Pro Max is a bit too much for this gimbal, so... Yep, gotta use a light phone and the XS Max is just light enough to do it. Got another little house here. Maybe we'll go over and check it out. If I can find a way over there without breaking my ankle or something. But yeah, I was up real late the night before last. Shooting lightning. Got one of my best lightning shots ever. But unfortunately, I had to stand out in the rain and that kind of made me sick. And then yesterday it was 35 degrees all day. Which did not help any. And then not sleeping again last night means I'm in bad shape this morning. Anyway, here's this house. We're not going inside. Looks like somebody's graffitied the walls back there. Because of course they have. We can't leave other people's stuff alone, can we? Now this gimbal has its own software, but I'm not using it today. I'm using Filmic Pro. Because I find it, it works better. Even though I don't get the controls working. Got another collapsed building over there. We'll just look in the house on this side of the place. Nice old stove there. Yeah, look at that ceiling. I'm surprised this place is still on the right side of the dirt, honestly. Now, I don't know what that building was, and I'm not sure I care, so... Yeah. Now, this is First Street, I think. Down there is a railway. That's where the grain elevators would have been. Well, actually, I see a cairn over there. Let's go check that out. We'll get to the... to that structure there by and by. I think. If I can get my gimbal to cooperate. Let's 
So what's on the agenda for today? Well, not much, I'm afraid. I'm probably going to have to end my trip here. I'm going to try to get a couple more videos done. I've got my grain elevator video in progress. I might be able to get a few more of those. And we've still got to check out the Light Plus with its Freewell Circular Polarizer. And we haven't seen what Log Video can do on that drone yet. Maybe we'll even try 5.4K. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that one because I don't know if I can process the resolution. And I don't even know if I can share that resolution on YouTube. So, yeah. Excuse the wind if I haven't mentioned that before. I would rather have the wind than a billion mosquitoes any day. The wind keeps them away. Um, actually, I better not share that Karen because it probably has the name of the town on it. Anywho. There we go, that's the entirety of what's on Railway Street. This likely would have had all businesses back in the day. All the way down to the far telephone pole, way over there. And I'm just going to keep you pointed this way, and I want to see what this Karen says. Ah uh, yes, history of the town. Very cool. Well, maybe we can go see if we can find the elevator foundations. How's that? There's usually something left, even if there's not much left. I haven't been paying attention much to the satellite shots of this place, but I would assume if it's here, it's going to be right around here somewhere. What with this being Railway Street and all. This might be a longer video, but that's okay. I do not feel like rushing today. Nothing wrong with going for a nice walk in the country. And I bet if there are elevator foundations, they're going to be buried in the grass over there. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going over there. I do see some wood over there. Those could be from the elevators or elevator. I don't know how many they had here. So yeah, walking along Railway Street in the ghost town. Okay, Gimbal, keep up. There's another street there, or used to be a street, I think. Hard to tell when they get this far gone. I would put the drone up too, but it's a little bit windy for that. I had an awful lot of trouble with the Nano Plus yesterday. Probably mentioned it in my previous video, but seems like 400 years has passed since then, so I don't know. But yeah, I droned one set of elevators with the Nano Plus yesterday. Worked fine, but then it never worked again. The app would not connect to the drone. Oh, 
over here, Gimbal. We got a foundation over there. Anyhow, as soon as I saw the app messing up like that, or the drone messing up like that, I'm still not sure which one acted up. I shut things down. I threw my phone on the other controller for the Light Plus, put the Light Plus in the air, and I lost all the manual controls for some reason. So, I'll tell you, your app is still way buggy. Anyhow, we're coming up to the intersection here. This would have been the way out of town once upon a time. Still got a yield sign out there. Again, sorry about the wind. Better that than mosquitoes. Especially the number of them I had to squash last night, I'll tell you what. And yes, we'll go have a look at that house. Not going inside, of course, but we'll look. Pretty nice morning, all things considered. Would have been nice if I'd gotten thunderstorms last night to help offset the mosquitoes, but that did not happen. In fact, the only thunderstorms we had were clear up in Yorkton. They were severe, and they went on and on and on all night. They did that because I was planning on going up there, you see, and now I can't anymore because all the roads are going to be washed out. So, this trip ain't going very well. Now, What does that say? Do not eat? I don't know. Oh nice, somebody painted a swastika on the house. Aren't you so edgy? Vandals suck. Even in a place like this, vandals suck. Check out the old C-band satellite dish. I used to have a job trying to convince people to buy those giant things. Right when the mini dishes were hitting the market. What a wonderful career decision that turned out to be. Okay, here's the front door. Right there. Obviously we are not going in there. It's bolted shut. But maybe I can still get you up there. All right, tell me if you see anything interesting. Ooh, an old TV. Looks like it's pretty trashed though. Couldn't do anything with that one. Gotta love the asbestos tiles in the ceiling. At least, it's probably what they are. Is there anything in the car hole? I wonder. Okay, fair warning, we're about to see some graffiti again. Sorry about your house, bro. 
All right then. Two thousand twenty one, somebody went in there. Did a bunch of vandalism. And right about here, looks like we have a well or a cistern or something, so I'm not going to walk on that. Probably wouldn't hurt anything, but you never know. Wasn't too long ago somebody fell down a well he couldn't see and Passed away just doing what I'm doing right now. Oh, look at the cute little bunny. Yeah, that's one thing I should warn you. When I get tired, I get weird. That's actually more or less my true personality coming out. The anxiety disorder hasn't woken up yet. Okay, here we go. The car hole. Eh, not a lot in here. Nice triple car garage. Complete with crickets. Oh, goody. I get to reset the gimbal. Sorry about that. Okay, breaker box there. Well, Disconnect switch there, not a breaker box. Yeah, nothing else to see here. Let's go out check out the old community hall. At least that's what I think it is. That's the only other building in town for us to look at. Don't mind me, I'm just walking carefully so I can see where I'm going. I imagine we're going to find a lot of vandalism there too. Which will lead me again to say, don't do that with other people's property. Just respect it, please. How hard is that? I visited another, not quite ghost town, but pretty close, that had a really nice general store. And when I was talking to the son of the owner, he asked me not to go into any of the buildings or reveal the location because people had been going in and vandalizing and taking things. This is why we can't have nice things anymore. This just makes it harder for people like me to, to do things like this. This is why I don't particularly like doing urbex anymore. Not that I ever did much of it. Okay, maybe we can get through here. No, this is not the United Church. Usually the United Church is found very close to the main drag of every little town. And I do believe we've already passed it. Where it was anyway. You might think it's pretty crazy for a United Church to move twice, but it's not that uncommon. The United Church in Bracken was moved twice. First it was in St. Alban, then Hodgeville, and now it's in Bracken. A friend of mine was the minister there before she passed away, sadly. Okay, yes, this is the community hall. We'll just take a look in here. Lots of graffiti again. Don't died. Okay. Whatever that means. I don't know what half this stuff means. Well, I do know what the obscene drawing means. It's a reflection of the character of the person who put it there. 
van 2021. Go ahead if you want a van in 2021. I'm not stopping you. Uh, more unpleasant, discouraging words. I am really too tired to be doing this. And pushing too old to be doing this. All right. And just trashed, sadly. Anyhow, I guess that's going to be it for our little t tour of this town. Okay, what is my gimbal doing again? All right, sorry about that. Have I mentioned my undying hate for the DJI OM4 yet? Well, I'm mentioning it now. I thought about getting the new OM5, but people say it's worse than the OM4. Great, just what we needed. Worse, not better. I should get like a pocket two or something like that for this kind of thing, but I'm not really that impressed with the pocket two either. I could have brought the Zhaowen gimbal and used the Z50, of course, but honestly, I don't like using that gimbal either. It's a little bit much to bring along on a trip like this. I had enough stuff in the car as it is. Anyhow, that will conclude my broadcast for the day. Well, there will probably be others, but I will post those on different days. Take care, everyone. Bye now.